this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Jax, Mises and Unknown Player. This very beautiful chess game was played in the year 1900. This is actually a game from Simul that Jack Mises played at the time. Jack Mises started with e4. Unknown Player played e5. Bishop to c4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4 defending and black captured the pawn on e4 with knight white to move how would you continue is knight takes knight the best move or perhaps there is a better move there is a better move jacks misses played queen to h5 threatening checkmate if knight takes knight then d5 and the black is okay. So we have a queen to h5. Knight to d6, defending the pawn on f7 and attacking the bishop. Bishop to b3. Bishop to e7. d3. And then castle kingside. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. White to move. How should white continue? Knight takes pawn on e5. Maybe castling, what would you do? Jacks, Mises played knight to g5, threatening. Queen takes pawn on h7, check mate. h6, and it looks like that white knight must go back to f3. Or maybe to e4. What do you think? How would you continue now if you had white pieces? I think this is a sensible move, knight from g to e4. Jack, Mises played h4. Knight to e8. White knight on g5 is a taboo, for example, if pawn takes knight, pawn takes pawn, and the threat is check mate on h7. So we have knight to e8. Knight to d5. Note how four of white pieces are ready to jump on black king and also white dark squared bishop on c1 is aiming at h6 all this sent poor nn to a panic mode anyway what would you do in this position if you had black pieces how to defend hmm? what is the best defense for black And then played knight to f6, attacking the queen. Is that a good move? White to move. What now? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. So how should white continue? What do you do in your life? when things don't go right. Hmm? What do I do in my life when things don't go right? I take them left. So did Mises. He went left with the queen. Black to move. Black didn't move. Black resigned. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? This is a possible continuation. King to h8. Then knight takes on f7. Rook takes knight, queen takes on f7. Knight takes on d5, queen takes on d5. Black could have played on. It's easy for us to say that NN could have continued. But he couldn't cope mentally anymore. He was asking himself a question if he should ever play chess again. But we know that he continued to play even until this day. And not only that, he was appearing in different cities at the same time. And then is a legend like Elvis. Well, why he resigned in this position? The first move that he considered was pawn takes queen and that's why he resigned. If pawn takes queen, then we have check mate in two. 
knight takes on e7, double check, king to h8, knight takes pawn on g6, check, mate. Now, let's go back to the most critical position of the game. This is the most critical position of the game when I ask you to find the best defense for black. Black had a very good move in this position. And that is knight to d4. This would offer very good resistance. I don't want to go to all the details, but brilliant queen to g6 doesn't work anymore. Let's have a look. If queen to g6, for start, knight takes on c2 check. If bishop takes knight, pawn takes queen. So perhaps king to e2. And now bishop takes on g5. Remember, black played knight to f6, so bishop takes on g5 was not possible. One line goes like this. Bishop takes on g5, and then pawn takes queen, there is no checkmate. Maybe bishop takes queen, then knight takes on a1. And NN would have a story to tell to his grandchildren. What else? If pawn takes bishop, then knight to d4, and after king to f1, pawn takes queen. Black is winning. Interesting, isn't it? So, what did we learn from this game? I think we learned when in panic, first do nothing. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.